How's it going everyone? Haven't made a video in a while. Hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy with COVID, you know, as well as your family members. Um, gonna be doing a kind of two part video. Um, I may add this into the beginning of the other one just to kind of hit both targets. Some people just wanna know how to remove the rear cargo tray. Others wanna know how to do it and install a deck or a platform, whatever you wanna call it. So kind of gonna do a two part video. This will be in both videos. So if you are looking just to remove the rear cargo uh, sliding deck, tray, whatever you, want, whatever you want to call this thing, this is how you're going to do it. Uh, it should be a pretty simple process. Um, really there's I think eight bolts here, eight bolts there that leave the top piece on and then of course you're going to have the brackets and stuff underneath that need to be removed. From my understanding it's just a 13 millimeter bolt and 10 millimeter bolt that you're going to need. I'm using an extension just in case there's some areas I need to get into. Uh, plastic pride tool just to pop these corners up. Uh, but besides that it should be a pretty quick easy process. So typical Toyota stuff, a little bit of a pain, as you can see and imagine. Um, really, you're just gonna have, I don't know if I broke a, I may have broken a clip here, but whatever. Like I said, this is staying out. So you're gonna have two clips here that hook in. So I guess really I should've went from this side up. So if you're taking these out, go from the top section back, because it looks like these kind of pop in and go down. Alrighty, so it's eight total. You have four in here, three at the top, one in the rear. Uh, that is also 12 millimeter bolts. These are not 13s. Alrighty, and that's the only bolts that keep the top piece bolted in. So it should come right off. Go. You gotta do like maybe a little wiggling to figure out the right spot. I had to release the lock mechanism. So next we have this little beam right here that has to come out. So it looks like there's two 12s here, two 12s here, and then that centerpiece should just pop right on out. Ready? And boom, pops right on out. And then these bolts right here are actually 14 millimeter bolts. So why I read 13s were back here, I don't know, unless there is a 13 hiding somewhere. So now these two rear ones are out. It looks like we will have to pop up these and get back there because it looks like whatever the end piece locks into is actually underneath that plastic piece. I'm doing this from an awkward angle and I'm probably gonna be blocking the light a little bit. But you're just gonna put your plastic tool into this gap back in here, not in front of this nipple, but like kind of behind it, or I guess in front of it, depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, one side's closed, one side you'll feel like a little opening. You're just gonna stick it under there and pull up. And it'll pop out, possibly you're not gonna break it, don't worry about it. And then that's gonna expose this bolt here. I'm not sure what size that is. I'm gonna guess that's a 10. And then once these are removed, this piece should just pop right on out. Yeah. Okay. Now I do have my wire for my, um, for my fridge going through here. So I gotta be a little careful about how I remove it. You can see how the wire goes back through here and under. Uh, that's because I have a power outlet over there for my fridge. So what I'm gonna have to do is, you're not gonna have this step, but I'm just gonna have to pop all this loose really quick. As you can see though, that's gonna expose this bolt, <clears throat> which I believe is um, another 14 millimeter bolt. So we're gonna find out here in a second. Yep, it sure is. then that ideally should be it as far as removing this whole bracket. 
Um, obviously you see the silver piece here. It's a bar that goes the whole way across. Obviously there's a lot of dirt back here. Um, it goes the whole way across here. Um, so you can either undo these or just leave it together and take it out once you undo that bolt, up to you. And then the final touches you need to do are to remove these brackets here. There's one here, one here. They're both held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. And once you remove those, everything should be complete. So next we just need to remove this carpeting to fit in the rear platform. I'm really not sure how to remove this. It should just be kind of stuck in. So I'm just gonna kind of pull apart the corners which seems to do a trick a lot, but it's under this pretty good. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to pop this up, which is, you know, pretty simple. Uh, if you've ever done the uh, door trim, uh, it's basically the same thing. You just kind of pull up on this and there's a couple clips and stuff. That plastic pry tool would come in handy real quick right All right, so like I said earlier, you gotta push away and pull up. So you're gonna, push this clip in while trying to lift up lift it out of the groove there we go all right so you see it pops out and then as mentioned earlier this should just now come out freely which it does